In this lesson, we want to define the movement of the uh, main body of our jellyfish. Um, to do this, we will first of all uh, create our control object. In this case, I will create a null object and call this one master controller. So that we know this, uh, this null object here controls everything uh, with the, like the movement of our jellyfish. So I will make the jellyfish a child of this master controller so that I can move my master and the jellyfish follows. And the master controller I will set to a custom color. Maybe red, I can see. So I can see it very good. And on object I will display it as a circle which is lying flat on the floor. Make it big enough to see it. Something like this. Maybe a bit smaller. Like this. This is good. So here we have our uh, master controller, which we can grab later. And we will move this one upwards. And the rest is uh, driven by Expresso. So I want to create the uh, movement of our uh, main body. So this part here. Uh, for this, I will um, make all other parts invisible for now, which is just better to to work. So we see the uh, main object which we want to to move. So first of all, I will create a, an Expresso tag on our master controller. Here we have our Expresso editor. So what I basically want to do is I want to grab my null object, move it upwards, just linear from bottom to the top. And what my uh, jellyfish should do is uh, not a linear movement, but more something like this. It should go upwards at first and then pump upwards, go back and do a movement like this. Because the jellyfish sucks in water at first, this should bring it down a bit. Then it pumps out the water, which lets it go upwards very fast. Then there's a break and then it sucks uh, water back um, again. It goes downwards again, pumps out the water, goes upwards, and uh, so on. So we need to create this movement. So let's bring in our Expresso. And first of all, we need the Y position of our master controller. So we bring it in, create an output port, coordinates, position, position Y. And um, so as I said, I want to uh, to uh, I want to animate my master null object upwards, and the jellyfish hypernerves object, this one here, which contains all the rest, should move uh, in this range here. So it should go up and down while my master object is moving upwards. So we will bring in this object also, so the jellyfish um, hypernerves object, and we will create an input port also for the y position. So to connect those two, we need our good old friend, the range mapper. Let's connect the Y position of our master null. And let's define um, our, uh, our ranges here. So f first of all, we need to define um, how far we want to move the, the master controller to create one motion cycle of our of our jellyfish so one motion cycle would be the um the part where the uh, jellyfish sucks the water in and the part where the jellyfish uh, pushes the water out of its body so this is one one cycle so it goes downwards and then it pumps up so maybe it should be around if i move it upwards and yeah, let's let's imagine it goes down uh, at first, uh, something like this, and then it pumps up. So maybe around here. So maybe around 50. So our circle, our cycle should go from zero to 50. Click on the range mapper. Input lower zero. Input upper 50. And now we need to define what our uh, what the jellyfish hypernerves object should do in in this range here. So it should go downwards and then it should go upwards within this null object 
And I think if we take it somewhere here, maybe it should go at the maximum 15 centimeters downwards and 15 upwards should be fine. So let's check the range mapper. Output lower is minus 15, output upper is 15. And of course, because um, this movement will repeat again and again and again, we should check modulo. So now let's take our master controller and make a short animation. So I go at frame zero, make a keyframe. Then I'll go to frame 200 and we will go to 200 centimeters upwards. Make a keyframe here. So we move 200 centimeters and one cycle should be 50 centimeters. So we should see uh, four pumps here. So let's try this. If I connect now my um, range mapper to the Y position of the jellyfish, click on the range mapper and take a look at it. So for now it shouldn't look very useful because it just moves upwards and downwards again. So it snaps back. So we have to create a curve. To do this, I will uh, open this one in a window, this curve here. Just click on show in separate window down here. Then this window will um, show up and now I can create my curve. So I will create two points first, one on each side and I will set the Y position of this point exactly to 0.5 and the last one also. So if it's set like this nothing will happen because I can move plus 15 and minus 15 centimeters in this range and now it's set exactly in the middle so it will uh, the uh, body will stay in the middle of our uh, master controller. So now I can create some points in between by holding down control and click on the line and make something like this. So you see now it goes downwards in the beginning of our cycle and goes upwards. So but it should go um, further upwards and faster. So I will create a second point and make something like this. And now you can see that it starts to create a pumping motion. And the problem right now is that it's uh, yeah when it's when it reaches the end of our curve, there's a pause for for a short moment because our both tangents are exactly horizontal and we need to link those two that um, the transition between the end of the curve and the beginning of the next one is smooth. So uh, you can just right click and check link and end tangents. So in this way, when you change this tangent here, the tangent on the other side changes also, as you can see here. And we should also click on it and say link and positions. So if you decide to move this one, the other side will move also. And as you can see now, we can play around with the curve, maybe make it flatter here. And maybe make something like this. And now it's super smooth. So the transition, um, between the end and the beginning of the next curve. Now it's very smooth. Let's see, yeah, I like it very much. Maybe we can pump up a little bit more. So just take the curve here and raise it. Maybe make it later. Uh, I think this, like this, it's okay. Here it's cool like this. So we have a nice pumping motion and we just move our master controller and Expresso uh, creates this nice movement um, with this curve here. So this is part one of the movement. And in the next lesson we will create um, two morph targets. One for, um, uh, one for the movement when the body is uh, sucking in water and the other one when it's pushing out the water and then we will drive those two morph targets uh, also with the curve.